Hey guys, what's going on? I want to take a look at Near Protocol. This is a request from one of my subscribers and I haven't looked at this coin yet. So yeah, let's see what uh, what's going on here. Before I get into this, I should say that if you're not subscribed and you want to get notified when I release new analysis videos, uh, just click subscribe now, click the bell and then click on all. If you're not subscribed and you click away, it might be hard for you to find this channel again because as you can see, it's only around seven or 800 subscribers. And because of that, I'm not really prioritized in the search algorithm, right? So if you find the content helpful, click subscribe, uh, click the bell, click on all, and that way you're gonna get notified. Okay, um, so here I am on a weekly time frame, And the first thing I see is a potential double bottom right here. Okay, and uh, one thing I wanna look for when I see uh, basically this kind of formation, I want to check for divergences, right? So if I check the indicator right here, um, this is the ultimate stochastic indicator. And you see how we put uh, a low in right here, then we did a lower low. Here we did a low, then we did a higher low. Okay, that's just one indicator. I'm going to switch the chart and I'm going to look at a couple more. So here we have the uh, basically the low and then the uh, lower low. But on the RSI, I have a low and then a higher low. And on this stochastic, I have right here a low and then a higher low. So yeah, this is basically multiple os oscillators are showing us that we're having a bullish divergence. And when you have these divergences form on the weekly time frame, it's a very powerful reversal signal, right? But but then again, we have not reversed yet. What I'm looking for next is for this down sloping level of resistance here where we have one, two, uh, three, three touches. So making this a very valid uh, trend line. I want this to break. Before I get excited uh, and looking for longs on near protocol, this is the level that I want to see a weekly candle close above. Okay, so if you want to trade this asset, uh, draw this line, right? Definitely draw this line. And the other levels I suggest that you draw would be number one, this uh, horizontal level of support, right? This is what's holding it. This is where the, the price bounced off right here. And this line has uh, more significance, which actually I'll just show you this right now. Um, if I do a Fibonacci retracement from this swing low up to the swing high, that's going to show me that basically this is the 786 region, and this is where uh, the price is bouncing off. Now, oftentimes when the price comes all the way back down to the 786 and then forms a double bottom with bullish divergence, it's a sign that the bottom is likely in, okay? So now we can, of course, come back and retest this for the third time. And this level is around $1.17 or so, $1.16 around there. Um, that's definitely possible. But I, I would not want to see the price break below this region. If it does, then I would imagine this right here would be the potential level of support. But I'd rather just see this hold. I'm going to do more frequent updates on this coin just in case, you know, if this level breaks, I'll give you an update. Or if this down sloping level of resistance breaks, I'll do a video to update you on that as well. So again, subscribe so you can get notified if you're not really paying attention to this. Okay, the next level I would recommend that you draw if you wanna trade this asset, this horizontal line right here, which marks the, the top of these candle bodies. Um, I'm not marking marking it from the wicks, I'm marking it from, from these bodies. So I'm gonna pay close attention to where the candle bodies close on the weekly time frame. Of course, if you're looking at a daily, it's gonna look different, the price is gonna slice through it, but I wanna see the weekly close above this level for uh, upward movement if, once we make it to that region, right? And of course, if this down sloping level of resistance breaks, um, I'm gonna look for the price to come up here and I'm gonna look for this region to serve as a resistance, right? So that could be a potential uh, short entry. Okay, and I have that level marked at around $2.60. The next level beyond that is going to be this range right here. Okay, so this range is between $3.25 and $3.46. The next level beyond that, I would recommend that you draw right here at around $4.90. And then the one beyond that, it marks the top of these candle bodies right here. So you see it was resistance here. When we came up to it, um, Kind of had, it was a resistance a little bit, but we broke through it, came back, retested as a support, was support again right here. So we have a lot of price history in this zone, and I have that marked in at about $6.92. So um, they also have confluence. So basically, these are drawn based on the price action, but if I take a Fibonacci, and this time I run it from the top down to the bottom, the swing high to the swing low, what we're going to see is a lot of these levels that I drew actually line up with the Fibonacci retracement levels. So you see right here, the, the 382, um, that comes in right here. And that's why I drew this level as a zone. 
So I have the um, the support and resistance based on the price action, but then I have the three three eight two just above it, right? And you see, it wicked in in this instance, the price wicked up to the three eight two. So I want to, I, I anticipate this zone to be a strong resistance on, to the upside. Um, but this is just, I, I drew it as a zone because I don't want to enter here, place a stop loss right here. If I'm going to enter a short position right here, I'm going to place a stop loss above the 3A2 and above this wick. Okay. So the next level is going to be the 50% uh, retracement. And you see this lines up absolutely perfectly um, with, the, with the price action uh, resistance that I drew in here, right? So this is the 50% FIB. The next level up is going to be the 618, and that lines up perfectly with the level that we drew in. And it basically, it lines up perfectly with the top of these two um, candles, the candle bodies. And that's basically the level that I just mentioned to you, where it was resistance and then support, support. And obviously, if the price comes up to it from below, it's going to be a level of resistance. Okay, and then upwards from there, I'm going to do uh, further videos to update you if the price actually does come up these levels, right? I'm going to I'm going to tell you where the next resistance levels are once we break these zones, right? Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the fib, and uh, yeah, basically that's it, guys. This one is a little bit behind a lot of the other altcoins that are already breaking out. Like so, for example, Shiba is breaking out. Um, I think uh, Hedera looks pretty good. There's a few coins that are a little bit ahead of this one. But this is ideal because it allows us to just, you know, take trades on the um, the coins that are breaking out. And then later we can take profits on those trades and then we can move it into maybe maybe this coin later when it breaks this down sloping level of resistance, right? So we can compound our gains in the bull market. Okay, uh, that about wraps it up. Uh, a couple more things. I'm going to put a link to the exchange that I used to trade on in both the pinned comment and the description of this video. Uh, it's my personal favorite exchange right now, particularly because they don't require KYC. I think that's a huge benefit. And if you're in Canada or the United States and you want to use the exchange, well, I also put a link to a uh, VPN, a promotion on a VPN. I'll put that in the in the comment and the uh, description as well. So you may need that to use the exchange if you're if you're uh, not able to access it. But uh, UAE is very crypto friendly. Also, I'm going to put a link to a video, I think, if you're new to crypto and this is your first cycle, I highly recommend that you watch it because it's going to save you a lot of stress if you know this stuff in advance. I think it's called uh, the six, six Tips for Crypto Beginners or something like that. Look for that in the pinned comment as well. And uh, yeah, that about wraps it up, guys. Hopefully you found this helpful. And once again, subscribe if you're not already. And take care. Have a good day. Bye.